Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, February 14th, 2008, and this is episode 12 of our weekly Campaign 2008 Roundup. In yesterday's episode, we told you that there's an emerging consensus in the media and in both campaigns that Hillary Clinton will have a very hard time ending this campaign with more pledged delegates, that is, elected delegates, than Barack Obama. And that as a result of that, we're going to see a big debate coming up about superdelegates, and specifically, whether it's legitimate for the superdelegates to throw the nomination to the candidate who actually won fewer elected delegates. Now we've already seen that debate starting, and the Clinton campaign has come out very aggressively saying, a delegate is a delegate, we're going to get them from wherever we can, whether they're superdelegates, or elected delegates, or whatever, it's the candidate who has the most delegates, who has the number that you need to win the nomination in Denver. And the spin has really gone into overdrive. The word has come down from the highest levels at the Clinton campaign that we shouldn't be saying superdelegates, but rather automatic delegates. Clinton strategist Mark Penn, who's one of the biggest clowns in this whole race, has really outdone himself. He's saying now that we shouldn't complain about superdelegates because, you know, caucus delegates, they don't think caucus delegates are maybe that legit anyway, so no one's really got a basis to complain. He went even further yesterday when he said this, could we possibly have a nominee who hasn't won any of the significant states outside of Illinois? That raises some serious questions about Senator Obama. So you see here, Mark Penn is now getting into the division between significant states and insignificant states. The two significant states to him seem to be California and New York. Now you can expect this debate to get a lot hotter over the next week or two, but I think the truth is none of it's actually really going to matter. Here's why. Let's run through some numbers. There are approximately a little less than 800 superdelegates. Roughly half of those have already committed to either Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama, and of those, Hillary Clinton is ahead by about 80. She was ahead over 100 late last year, but that's come down a little since then. So again, a little under 800 superdelegates, about half of them have pledged to one candidate or another, and Hillary is up by about 80. Now, a trickle of superdelegates come forward each week now and pledge to either Obama or Hillary, but the question is, since you've got almost 400 of them out there, what are they waiting for? I think it's pretty obvious what they're waiting for. They're waiting to see which way this thing goes. They're waiting to see who the popular choice is and who seems like the stronger candidate, because they're the most popular. A lot of people are worried that Barack Obama is going to come in ahead among pledge delegates, and then if it's up to the superdelegates, they're going to go for Hillary Clinton. But I think that whole assumption is dubious for the reasons that I just said. Let's go back to that hypothetical. Say Hillary Clinton comes in behind Barack Obama among pledge delegates. So you've got those remaining 400 superdelegates. Are they going to vote for the candidate who's raising less money, who's doing worse in the polls against John McCain, and who has won fewer delegates in the actual primaries and caucuses. I just don't think it's going to happen, and we're really never going to get to that question of the legitimacy of the superdelegates, because they will probably fall in line with whoever wins most pledged delegates. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll bring you some of the latest polls from the Democratic race. At the tone, leave a message. We'll get back to you. Hey, Veras player. I don't know enough about him yet to know if he's the most honest, but Ron Paul definitely seems to be the most straightforward candidate out there. Yeah, Ron Paul seems honest, but I think of the viable candidates. Let's go with Barack Obama. Okay, we're back. You know, the three states that Hillary Clinton is really looking to as her firewall to stop Barack Obama are Texas, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Well, today, two new polls came out from Ohio and Pennsylvania. These polls were taken before the Potomac primary this last Tuesday, but they still show big margins for Hillary Clinton. In Ohio, Hillary Clinton leads Obama 55 to 34, and in Pennsylvania, she's beating him 52 to 36. Remember, we'll be bringing you live returns from the Wisconsin primary next Tuesday right here at TalkingPointsMemo.com. I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.